Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you a free way to make updates to your website without logging into the back end. In this example, I'm going to show you how to update the amount of available rooms by just visiting a web page and updating one form field. So what I wanted to do was have it where someone can just go to this page right here, update this field, hit submit, and it will automatically update this right here. This could be a really good use case for someone like an admin who needs to make updates to the website, but you don't want to have them log into WordPress every time. They can even do it on their mobile device. So that's exactly what we're going to be covering in this Elementor Pro tutorial. In order to follow this tutorial, you will need Elementor Pro and just a few additional free plugins to pull this off. And if you don't already have Elementor Pro, I'm going to leave a link to our affiliate in the description below. So the very first plugin you're going to want to make sure you install is Advanced Custom Fields. So that's what this is right here. This is just using advanced custom fields. And then this plugin right here, this is a great plugin. This is called Frontend Admin. It used to be called ACF Frontend, but they recently changed the name. So that's basically the magic of how this is going to work. So this right here is an ACF form, and this gives the user the ability to edit an ACF form on the front end without having to log in. And so that's how we can tie it into something like Elementor. So once you get those two plugins installed and activated, you can continue with the tutorial. The first thing we need to do is create the two different pages. So in this example, you can see right here in the URL, I just have it called available rooms. So this can be your home page or whatever it may be. You just gotta make sure that you have a page already dedicated to where you want this field right here. And the next thing is you can just create another page called like available rooms form. So this is gonna be the page where someone can, like I said, update it on the front end without having to log in. So this needs to be a separate page. So once you created those two pages, we can now jump into ACF and start syncing all the stuff together. The first thing we need to do is go into your ACF fields and create one called something like rooms. So as you can see right here, I have this one called rooms and I'm gonna jump into this. And if you look right here, I just have it as label rooms and I'm just gonna have a text field and I'm just keeping everything really simple, just called rooms right here. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that underneath your location rules right here, we wanna select page is equal to available rooms. So that's why I wanted you to make these pages ahead of time so you can sync everything up. So I wanna have it where the advanced custom field or the value is always gonna be on this page right here called available rooms. So once you do that, you can keep everything else by default if you want or if you have any additional settings, you can always update that and just hit save. So now if I jump into that page and let's go to edit page, you're gonna see this is where your advanced custom field uh, should display. So you can see right now, I just have it as rooms two. And if I update this, for example, on the back end, just to show you how everything is working, that is your ACF field. And if I go to the front end, it's gonna have a five now instead of a two. Now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create that and just sync it up into your Elementor settings. So now I'm gonna jump into the back end of that page and show you how I was able to sync that ACF field into the front end. So if I go into edit with Elementor on that page, and if I go right here, I just have a simple heading right here, and let me close all this stuff down. So I recommend just throwing in something like a heading, and you click this button right here, it says dynamic tags. Once you click that, you can scroll down into ACF field. And then once you click that again, you just click rooms. So now that number is going to show up. That one that is, you know, corresponding to your ACF, that's now going to show up right here. So after you do that, you can go into your advanced settings right here. And where it says after, you can just put a space and then something like available rooms. So once you do that, you can hit update. And now on the front end, you're going to make sure that everything's going to be working correctly. So if I go here, hit refresh, you're going to see it shows the five available rooms. So that's how easy it is to just sync up your ACF field into Elementor. Now let's go ahead and add that form page and show you how to sync all of that up. Now we're going to get into using the front end admin plugin. So you're going to notice that after you activate it, you're going to have this right here. And you could just go through and, you know, turn on and off some of these settings. So by default, every time someone does a submission on that form, it will save it into submissions right here. So you may wanna turn that off if you don't wanna have a whole bunch of you know extra stuff in your database. Um, these are just defaults, I didn't touch any of these things. 
dashboard you can you know turn on and off a few things but this right here where it says legacy uh you're going to want to make sure it says show elementor widgets with legacy settings just make sure that's clicked on because that's going to give you the elementor widget that we need so now that you have that on let's jump into the back end of that form page and show you how easy it is to set up so if you look over on the left side in elementor you're going to notice a whole new tab right here called front end site management these are all the different widgets that come with that plugin in this case, we want to just pull in this one right here where it says edit post form. So when you pull that in, it's just going to look like that. So in this case, we're just going to be using this right here where it says built in widget. Um, do not click this button right here where it says create new form because we're not going to be using uh, their own standalone form. We need to have this as a built in widget. So what we need to do is just go underneath add item. And if you look right here, it should default to ACF fields. So what we need to do is just go to ACF fields and select the one that we have called rooms. So that right there is syncing to the ACF field for this page, for the form page. So of course, if we update it right now, it's not gonna work correctly because we need to have it on the front end of this page right here. So what we need to do is just configure a few other settings, very easy to do. So if you go underneath post right here, you see where it says edit post, you're going to want to make sure to keep that by default. And this right here, where it says current post, we do not want to edit the current post because that's a separate post or page from the front end website. That's This is a totally different page. So what we need to do is go underneath specific post and we need to give the ID of that front end page. So in order to get that um, ID number, it's pretty simple. You can just click this button right here where it says edit page. And you see right here, it says post equals this number. That's your post ID number. So now what you're gonna to wanna to do is go back into your post settings on that form and right where it says post, just paste that in right there. So now you see, as soon as I did that, it automatically changed uh, to a five. So that's what is on the uh, page right now. So if I go right here inside that page settings, you can see right here where my mouse is in the bottom left, it's at a five. And that's all you have to do. Um, there are some pretty cool uh, stuff you can do underneath your actions. You can say stay on page, you can do a redirect, but let's just keep this very simple and just hit update. So now I'm gonna jump over into the front end of this page and show you that when you update this field now, it's gonna update the ACF field for that front end page. So let me just put in a larger number, like, I don't know, 30 and hit submit. And you can see right here, your post has been edited successfully. Everything looks good. So now if I go to the front end of that page, um, let me just hit preview on here. And now if I refresh it, it should say 30. So you can see right here, it says 30. And if you wanna jump into the back end of that page, let's make sure everything works. Let's try that. Let me close out all this stuff. And if I go to edit page, you're gonna see that that ACF field down here where it says 30 has been updated. So now if I want to preview that form we just created in something like an incognito window, you're going to notice that it's not going to show up at all. And that's because within the settings inside the page or Elementor settings, you need to make sure that it can display for everyone. So if you go underneath where it says permissions, you can see right here by default, it's always as only logged in users because this is really sensitive information. You don't want anybody to be able to just update it. So what we could do is make it where all users can update it, but then we could just password protect this page. So let me go into update and show you that now if you right click and you go to incognito, you can now update this You know when you're not logged in but it's not protected. So let's just make sure that still works. So now that page should say four. So if I go here, it will say four. So a very simple way you can just password protect that page inside, uh, you know, something like WordPress. You could just click uh, quick edit and just right here it says password. You could just type in something like wiki and just hit update. So now when I go to this page in an incognito window, the user is gonna have to at least type in something. So now that this page is password protected, you can see that if you type in a wrong password, it's just not gonna work. So the user is gonna have to at least know the password. So this is a really good way to just keep it very simple for this tutorial, but let's go ahead and update this back to eight and hit submit. 
So like I said, this could be someone on their mobile device that would just log in real quick and just update this. So you can make this page always look a little bit better if you want, but this is gonna give the user the ability to update this like kind of on the fly without having to log into WordPress and all that stuff. So now we change that to eight and just one last test. Let's just make sure that works. And I'll do this in an incognito window as well. So you can see that when that person logged in, they were able to update that without logging into WordPress. And that's it for this Elementor Pro tutorial. Make sure that you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this.